Okay, today we're gonna try to figure out how to change the cabin um, filter in a Kia 2012 Kia Sportage. Um, this is the glove compartment. Let's see if we can just open that up. And inside, we have these little two knobs. And according to what we find out, we'll be opening these knobs. They should come out. Put that aside. Pull the other knob. Alright, pull that aside. This should flip down. According to what we've seen here. That's a little notch here somewhere. Right here, these rubber bands on the side. Just pull them out to the side and it should flip down. So here's a little thing of a jigger here. Oh, we're gonna go in here, this top part is supposedly with the cabin air filters on. See how we go open this up. Looks like it has a little notch on this side. Like a little clip type of deal. And this is the part that'll be in the inside. So this is not the side we'll be taking out. We'll be taking out the right hand side. It should have a little notch here to go down. And then the little door in the front should be clipping out. Give me a second so I can grab it with my both hands. I don't know if the camera's gonna grab it right, but well basically what we're gonna do is this little notch here and this little notch here, we're gonna be spreading them apart. And then this here, I'll be pulling straight out. Just in case the camera doesn't get it, that's what I'll be doing right now. And this part should swing open as, like a door. All right, Let's see if that works out. Okay, so I figured it out. These two, what you're gonna do is you pinch them together. You don't pull them apart. You get this bottom button here and this top button and you pinch them together. And when you pinch them together, it releases the back part and you pull it out. So you don't spread them apart, you pinch them together. And once you pinch them out, you just pull them straight out and it swings the door open. This is fine to come out, they didn't get damaged. It just sticks into the little knob in there. So we'll put that aside. And this is your cabin air filter inside. As you can see, it's already dirty. Um, as you can notice, look at the arrow. The arrow's pointing downwards. You want to make sure that the next one you put in follows suit to that. So make sure the arrow's also pointing down. This is original filter, so this obviously hasn't been changed. Or somebody went out of their way to buy a dealership one. Let's pull this sucker out. As you can see, this filter should be white. Obviously, it's not. This also causes the odor and the smell when you turn in the air conditioning and whatnot in the car. So this is obviously filthy and disgusting. It has never been changed, obviously, since this car is purchased. This car is quite new. So this has not ever been changed. It's a little bit cleaner on this side. This side is just full with dirt and stuff in it. We'll be putting this outside and opening the new cabin air filter we just bought, which I have right here. This cabin air filter was purchased at well, Walmart, and they're a little pricey, not a lot. They're about 19 bucks, and this is the one that I bought. It's a Fram Fresh free, uh, Breeze, and that's your number for the Kia Sportage 2012. It's a CF10709, just in case you guys can't figure that out. It was a little pain in the butt when you don't have the book in the stores to figure them out. So that's the one we got. Um, if you need, you just... Um, Put the video backwards a little bit rewind and figure that out again um just make sure that these arrows are pointing downwards when we install this inside and um that's about it i will be putting the filter back in the same groove where we just took it out and after we put it in you'll get the piece that you took out see the ones with the knobs you know that that side goes to the right and this part that has a little notch on this side will be clipping in here and once it goes in here we just close it shut i haven't put the filter in so i'm not going to shut it yet um but you know just for video purposes and time I, i'll be sliding the filter in closing this and everything you did in the beginning you'll be going back you'll put up the glove compartment back up make sure you put the little hinge on the side to the notch 
and then and then um just close the clip on it and put the little knobs back into the spots where they belong it goes one to the left and one to the right all right that's it guys hopefully that helps you out it took me a little bit to figure it out they do have another video on youtube but this um hopefully is a little bit clearer the other one's kind of cut dry and short within like a minute or so